They are Founders Diamonds. They are from Nishanic Station, New Jersey. Help us welcome Vishal and Sonika Jain. All right. How many of you got what you came for? Already, right? And we haven't even gone through half of it yet. So you can imagine, you know, uh, it's going to be crazy. By the time you leave here Sunday, you'll be my woo. I mean, you'll go back with a lot. But our topic is about uh, actually a lot of different things. So we're going to cover, uh, you know, a lot of ground here. But uh, of course, uh, you know, to start with, I want to say uh, thank you to my upline, you know, Kankan and Samina and uh, Ram and Shailaja and uh, especially Kumar and Anjali for putting this weekend together. You know, one of the things that uh, everybody has heard many, many, many times over and over again is that uh, you got to set goals for your business. And sometimes, you know, um, I've realized this because it's happened to me. Sometimes you get immune to certain words and certain statements and they stop registering in you. You know, you hear goal setting, counseling and things like that and say, I heard this hundred times. The, the question is not, you know, how many times uh, it's spoken from stage because we can't keep bringing up new, invent new, uh, new things for this business. Otherwise, the business will not be easy. We're going to tell you the same thing. The key thing is that when a speaker is speaking from stage and talking about different, uh, you know, uh, points, in your mind, you should be noting down what you've changed and what, what you heard about earlier on. And you know what? I fixed this. This is something I'm taking care of now. Otherwise, you know, it'll just be a, a repetition over and over again. You're going to hear the same thing. We're going to talk about goal setting, but the question is not about just hearing that same topic again. It's about getting it into your mind and, you know, thinking about, okay, when I go back, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, it's registering in your mind. So next time when you come, you've done it because you're going to hear the same topic again next year, right? You understand what I'm saying? And of course, you know, coming back to our topic, everybody here in this room have already set goals in this business in particular because that's the reason you're here in this room at Seven Springs. You're already a silver and up. So it's not that you haven't done it, but we're going to take it to the next level. Okay? Talk to you a little bit about going to the next level. And, uh, you know, Sonic and I are so thankful. You know, our life has changed because of this business in a big way. We live a beautiful lifestyle today, and it wasn't like this from the beginning. We are not a rags to riches story, but almost, you know. So this business, we have, we have a lot to thank for, for where we are in life today, for this business, you know, with the corporation and BWW, but more specifically to our upline, who taught us, who changed our lives in such a big way. They've impacted us and our children and grandchildren, generations to come, are impacted. But you know what? We were ready to receive. We were ready to adapt and make the changes that were necessary. I came to Seven Springs to learn what I need to do to get to the next level. Yes, I came, I enjoyed myself, but I didn't come here just to listen to the speakers and not apply those uh, you know, things I needed to apply and make those changes. I hope you understand. You've got to make changes, guys. And you've got to take it to your heart and get serious about this stuff. Because time is not going to wait for no one. You know? But we are so thankful. Sonic and I, we have a wonderful time building the business. One Shika, who is our 11 year old daughter, today she tell me, uh, Papa, this is my 10th trip to Seven Springs. She was two months old when we first came to Seven Springs. Three weeks. Three weeks old when we first came to Seven Springs. But she's been to Seven Springs ten times. I mean, I, don't, I can't even count how many times to Disney World and, you know, all that. You know, this year, 2010, has, you know, has been some things in our life that has happened, which we are so thankful for because of building this business. You know, our daughter, Sachi, she had a 16th uh, birthday celebration this year in March. We did a grand celebration in our backyard. Now, we did it in style, spent a lot of money. It does take money, you know, when you do something in style. But you know what? We're thankful, we're grateful 
for what we've accomplished through this business, so we were able to do that. You know, my parents were here from India for about two, a little over two months. They just left this Tuesday, and uh, it was their 50th wedding anniversary, and Sonica and I, we gifted them Rolex watches. That costs a lot of money, guys. Now my dream is to buy a Rolex. You know? <laughs> so I was telling my dad, my dream is to buy a Rolex now. But it costs a lot of money. You know? It's not like, you know, just a little bit. And of course, you know, uh, with help from my upline, I could, you know, do, uh, you know, we figure these things out. But you know what? It just gives us that pleasure, that, f that feeling of achievement now. And we're so thankful that we listened. We made the changes that were necessary. Some of you are too stubborn to do it. You just won't listen. You just won't make those changes. You'll come year after year as a silver, and you'll, you'll just be sitting there. And maybe it's not hurting you bad enough. It hurt me, guys. Every day when I woke up and went to work, I hated it. I hated the fact of getting up every morning and going to work when I saw a business opportunity that could get me free. And I could spend that time with my wife and my kids. I hope you're strong enough to understand that. For some of you, maybe you like your jobs too much. I don't know what is wrong. You want to move on. You don't want to keep coming to Seven Spring as a silver. We, we broke a sixth North American leg last month. We are excited about growth, guys. I hope you are too. We are not hurting for monthly bills. We're not doing this just for money now. You know, we never really did it for money. It's the achievement. It's the, it's the feeling of wanting to excel in something. There has to be that winning spirit inside of you saying that enough is enough. I need to move on. I just don't want to be where I am. There has to be growth. Your brain has to work like that. You know, your heart and your mind. That enough, I need to grow. Kumar talks about doing it for respect. Yeah, you do it for whatever your reason is. But you got to move on. We need you guys to grow more and more. You know? I don't know. I used to, I used to come to these functions and tomorrow night you're going to see recognition. You're going to see some people come up here as brand new platinums. And they join the business maybe after you and you're a silver. Why? How come somebody joins after you and are bigger in this business than you? Why? Give me a reason why. Are they better than you? Are they smarter? Are they better looking? What, what's the reason why somebody grows faster than you? It's not that you, want, you don't want people to succeed in this, but why not yourself? That has to hurt. There has to be that feeling in you, that, that winning you know, spirit inside. That, you know what? I got to succeed. What the heck is happening here? What's wrong with me? Why am I there? Why am I not there? You're going to see pin recognition. You'll see people who are new emeralds coming up. New sapphires, new emeralds. And what is happening here? Why am I still at the same pin? You need to get that someday, somehow, some way. That feeling has to get inside you a few. Otherwise, life is awesome. You're in a comfort zone. It's okay. It doesn't hurt bad enough. Okay? So that's the thing that I wanted to start with. But uh, we're having a great time together, guys. So thankful. So thankful for Sonica. For what she is, what she does in the business, what she stands for. Our relationship. This business has given us a lot. Our home is a happy home. Which we have a wonderful uh, you know, home team. A wonderful relationship together. We're so thankful for that. But we work hard towards it. We made the changes that were necessary. We hung around our upline when we did not want it to be stretched. We still went and counseled with them. Every month, Kumar was talking about, or Nanda was talking about classic counseling every month. Not one month in the business, guys. We did not sit down with Kankan and Sumina with our org chart drawn out and counseled. And many times with Kumar and Anjali. Not one month. You can't give me one month in the business. I'm talking about till maybe Emerald, maybe even after Emerald. Every month, we took the time out. It was important for us. And it's counseling is not about, oh, you go to your upline, your upline is going to change your business and teach you, hey, you go, da, da. it's not what they say to you. It's a process that makes you succeed. It's a feeling. It's a confidence in you. 
It's, a, it's, a, it's somebody looking over you and your business. That confidence. Every time I sat and counseled with my upline, I felt good about what I was doing. All, most of the time, all Kankan, Samina, or Kumar and Ali said to, said to us, keep doing what you're doing. Give me some tips. Do what you're doing. And I would take my calendar to my upline. And I showed them. I've shown 19 people the plan or whatever, eight QIs. I had notes on my calendar, the $3 calendar, every month on the top. How many? Contacts I made, how many people showed up, how many QIs I did, I looked at all those boxes, how many people showed up at the open, how many signups happened, and I would take those figures to my upline. And so what's wrong? What am I doing wrong here? Tell me. I came here to know what to change. Many times my upline, they probably didn't know what to say because there's no magic wand they have that is going to make my business succeed. All they said was, you know what? Keep doing what you're doing. But you know that feeling I went back home with that night, or early morning, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., was that, you know what? Somebody believes in me, and they believe I can do this. The feeling of counseling is what's important. It's not just what you learn. The upline is not God. They're not going to know every answer to every question you have. It's the feeling that you go with. All right? There's so much, guys, when you get to a level in this business where... You know what this business has done, you know, in your life and how it's impacted you? You will have that emotion. Just incredible. Thank God for this business. But again, let me repeat that. We were willing to make the changes to get to where we are. We are not lucky people. And some of you say, oh, these are, it was, it's what we did. But can you duplicate that or can you do what we did? Sure you can. There's no reason why not. Okay, but I'm going to pass this uh, mic to Sonica, and I love her so much, you know, for what she does in the business, what she stands for. We just build this together as a team, guys. It's just, it's just so beautiful. And here's Sonica. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say after this. <laughs> but uh, we are excited to be here, and, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, people who were here uh, early morning or people who've been here since yesterday, you had a great time today, especially the kids. They're just having a good time. And uh, we're just thankful to our upline, our sponsors, uh, Kankan and Samina, for uh, being such a blessing in our lives. And uh, just, you know, uh, like Vishal was saying, this business has definitely changed our lives. And we, uh, you know, it's not just the luck which gets you in uh, life where you want to be, but we are definitely blessed to be a part of this business and be a part of uh, this team. And, uh, you know, everybody said this, but I want to say it one more time, that all these Emeralds and Founders Emeralds did such a great job. You know, everything that we wanted to talk about mostly has been covered, but we still say it one more time in our style. And, uh, you know, also uh, when Ajit was talking about the tech, uh, the money that they are going to get, I can understand their excitement because... Uh, Last week, we got an email uh, from the corporation saying that, uh, you know, apart from the mentor bonus that we are going to get, we are also on track for our Q12 bonus. And that was a surprise, you know, pleasant surprise. And uh, it's exciting. You know, I was telling Vishal, since we were not expecting that money, maybe you should just give it to me. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, it's exciting to get uh, money that you didn't really expect. And uh, we're excited about all the growth which is happening on the team. And uh, you know, uh, congratulations to all the new silvers, all the people who are here for the first time. And I hope you didn't go silver just to come to Seven Springs. You went silver because you, you want to go platinum and beyond, and you know, build your future. And uh, you know, some of you came here just for vacation, maybe just to have a good time so that your kids can have fun. But I'm sure some of you came here to learn with the thought process that this, business, this weekend is going to change your life and this weekend you're going to get something which will change your business and which will take your business to new heights. And uh, all the speakers who've been talking on stage, they're talking to those people who want to make a difference in their life and in their business. Uh, you know, to move on in the business, it's going to take work, right? It's got, you have to do the work and, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard work. But, you know, it all depends on your attitude. 
to go on the different, you know, the alpine slide and two different activities here, kids can get a band, right, which is, uh, which uh, entitles them to go on unlimited rides, they can go bowling and do different stuff. And, uh, you know, so a lot of kids got that band today, and some of us uh, ladies, we were just joking with our kids that make sure that you make the maximum use of this band, you know, we spent the money, so make sure at least you, you know, utilize it, you know, at least for $30, and uh, because it costs $30, if not more. And, you know, kids went, they went on Alpine Slide a couple of times, and then we were saying, okay, you know, go one more time, <laughs> you know. And finally, I mean, the kids, they, I'm sure some of the kids were just tired, you know. They didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Suddenly, something which was so much fun for them, going on the Alpine Slide, was not so much fun anymore. You know why? because they had to do it, you know? And in this business, when, when, when you're working in the business with the feeling that you have to do it, and you feel pity for yourself, or you feel that, you know, oh, why do I have to do it? It's not going to be fun anymore. And when you are not having fun, your business is not growing. So just, you know, get rid of that feeling that, you know, oh, why do I have to work so hard? Just always, when you're working hard in the business, think of the reward. Think of your dreams, and if you're working, moms, think of the times when you'll stay home with your kids. Think of all that, because it all depends on your attitude. You know, uh, never shy away from doing the basics. At this, especially at the silver level, uh, you've not arrived yet. You are not too big to do, you know, simple stuff in the business. And just think of what you did when you got started in the business. You know, when the, you got started in the business, you were probably, you know, fired up, you just wanted to tell the whole world about this business, and you were excited about the products, and just wanted to go out and prospect people, and you were talking to your kids about the business, and you did all that. Just, you know, if you have, you know, uh, slowed down in that process, just think of all those things again, and start it again. Because, you know, you need all that excitement, and, you know, uh, all that, uh, you know, basics to build your business. Michelle and I, we never shy up away from doing the basics, and we are not, never tired of doing the simple stuff in the business. And uh, we still go out prospecting, you know, whenever it's not that hardcore anymore like we used to, but still, you know, whenever we get a chance, we go out prospecting. Uh, I'm still doing SAM sessions, grand openings. Uh, you know, I go with Vishal for follow-ups. We do overviews, we do cover dishes, and, uh, you know, all those things. We are not too big to do so, those small demos, because those small demos will give you big income. And uh, they're there at every association. It's not that at this level we have to go to every open or every PACE meeting, but when you're working with new people and you're inviting them to different associations, it makes sense for you to be there also, right? So that your uh, business, you know, the, uh, the process is more effective when you are there at different associations. And uh, you know, there are some good business habits that you develop to, to your, grow your business. And at this level, you know, I'm sure you all know what those good business habits are, you know, especially those nine core steps. Like um, Anita was saying earlier that we all know it. It's just a matter of doing it. And, uh, you know, so just make sure that you are, uh, you know, you have those good business habits and, you know, you're following those habits. And never do anything which makes you feel guilty. You know, never do anything which you feel that, oh, I hope my upline doesn't find out. Or, you know, I hope, you know, or you just, you know, you do it and then you're feeling guilty about that. And that slows down your business. You know, there's some, some of the things that, you know, some people do and they feel guilty about is like, you know, when you are not prospecting when you have a chance to, when you are sitting at home in the evening, uh, or, you know, you reach late at a meeting, or, uh, you know, you are not uh, communicating with your upline on a regular basis. You know, some of these things make you feel guilty, and then, you know, that just slows down your business. Uh, you know, ever since we went diamond, our goal was to break our uh, sixth North American leg, and uh, because that's what gives you, you know, big money. And, you know, we sponsored several people, but unfortunately it was not their goal to become our sixth North American leg. And, uh, you know, then a um, couple of years ago we sponsored uh, Mel and Florence Garber. 
they are, uh, you know, a few months in the business, and we knew that that they are going to go a long way in the business, and they are going to be platinums and beyond. And uh, you know, last year when Seven Springs came around, they had a goal of going silver. Last year itself, and uh, but their group was not ready yet, so it didn't happen. You know, it's okay to miss your goals once in a while, and uh, you know, as long as you come back with more passion. And you know, with a, a bigger decision, it's okay to miss your goals. And uh, you know, um, but uh, no, no. This year again, uh, they had a goal of coming to Seven Springs. The goal was set. They were working hard. And uh, you know, when you keep working hard, you have total faith. Then things happen. And uh, last month, in the month of June, I mean, things happened. This, the you know. Uh, I think uh, the nine or ten people, new people, joined their team, and uh, they went silver. And the process, you know, didn't slow down. It's still, it's still, you know, continuing. You know, this month already they they sponsored. Um, I think uh, ten new people already joined their group so far. You know, those of you who've been silver for some time and you're not platinum yet, maybe you didn't set the goal yet. You know, or you didn't do the things which go along with setting a goal, and you know, those of you who are, you know, maybe platinums but Q, are not Q12 yet, you know, you still have to. Maybe you have not set the goal with that, you know, total commitment. And uh, you know, let me give you an example. Now, you know, right now it's summer. You know, kids are off from school, and sometimes they get summer homework uh, from school, right? And when do they do most of their homework? In the last, you know, couple of weeks, they finish all their homework. So 80% of the work is done in the last 20% of the time. And sometimes, you know, the little kids in elementary school they get some homework, which is they don't have to really take it back to school. Teachers just give them like a math packet or something. Okay, do it in your summer. When do they do it? Mostly never, you know. I mean, because they don't have to give it back. Right? You know, I mean, if setting a goal is like having a deadline, when you have a deadline, then you, your 80% of the work will be done in the last 20% of the time. But if there's no goal, there's no deadline, that 20, last 20% of the time will never come. So 80% of the work will never get done. You know, so if you no goal, you are not moving on in the business. So make sure that you know you are setting goals. And uh, husband and wife be in agreement with each other with whatever goals you set. And uh, you know, if one spouse is you know excited about uh, you know uh, reaching a goal and uh, pushing for it, but the other spouse is you know pulling, then you know instead of moving forward, you are going backwards. So make sure that whatever your goals set, you, you know you guys set. Just you know, if you're married, husband and wife, be in agreement with each other, and then just communicate your goals to your upline. So that you can sit down together and make a game plan. You know, now uh, the new fiscal year is starting from uh, September, and I'm sure a lot of you have goals of starting your Q12 qualification. And uh, you know, make sure that when you sit down with your upline and you make a game plan, all the you know, when we make a game plan, we you know, kind of think that which leg is going to do how much volume, right? And then when you're making a game plan, you are just stretching your downline's goals a little bit too, right? Right now, if they are at uh, 1,500 PV or 2,500 PV, maybe you'll set a goal for them to, you know, to go 4,000 in September. But you know, after you add up all those numbers, at least they should come up to 7,500 PV. You know, after stretching everybody's goals, if still it's adding up to only 6,000 PV, you know. <laughs> You are, you know, just remember that you have next couple of months to fix that. Work hard so that you can fill that gap. Or if you are not willing to work that hard to fill up that gap, then just reset your goal. But you have to, you know, you have to figure out in advance what your goals are and how you are going to work towards those goals. You cannot think, you know, middle of September that I want to start my Q12 qualification. The work has to start now. So just make sure that uh, that uh, you know you you are thinking right. Sit down with the upline, make a game plan, and just move on in this business because it's just awesome. And uh, I'm so you know proud of Vishal. I love him the way he is, but I love him more because of the way he's 
changing and not only becoming a respectable leader but also a lovable leader. And okay, what's the next goal for New Silver? Become a solid silver with solid numbers. You have to think about that, like Sonica said, 7500 PV should be an unthinkable target. Means not, uh, maybe I'm using the wrong word, but it should be a, something that automatically happens. You shouldn't have to go into volume inquiry to check your 7500 PV every month. That's the goal of a new silver. Simple as that. It's not to go platinum, it's not to go emerald or diamond. Solidify your business, where you, where, whatever goal that you reach, okay? That's a good start. How will that happen? you got to bring more people into the business because people increase volume, right? Just doing volume itself is not going to help because long term, the way you sustain your volume is by having system numbers. That means numbers of, number of people coming to the open meetings, to the functions, number of people on the standing order, number of people getting educated. You know, you all understand that process. So you want to make sure you're backing up your volume with system numbers. Yes, we do push volume. We are all aggressive about our goals. We're not going to sit there and wait for a goal to happen or wait for 7,500. We just could go, go, out, go out and get it done. It's okay. But back it up with system numbers, okay? That should be the next goal for anybody, really. Apart from your PV goals every month, make sure you have goals for sponsoring and the activities that lead to that sponsoring. That means the number of contacts you're making. You should have a contact, guys, uh, contacting goal. Number of new people on your list. I believe that people who are out there doing what they, their downline or the newest people are doing, those people will have the biggest businesses. This business is not like sitting in a dark room and directing your business, you know, and telling people where to put people and all the phone calls you're, you're getting and talking to people about this, which leg to tap root will who win. That's not the way to build a business. You've got to be you know, out there doing it. And those are the people who will have, like Dave Dudnot was talking about. I love what he talks about, you know, being out there, doing the work, you know, because that's the right thing to do, setting the example for other people. Personal momentum precedes group momentum. You know, we've heard this many times, guys. Personal momentum precedes group. Whatever you're expecting your group to do, you do. Now, there are a lot of people, you know, I can take examples of, even in our team, you know, but you know what, there's one example I want to, you know, talk about which, you know, I want to take as a, a, an example to teach you. You know, there's a couple here in this room, they're sitting right there, Robert and Monica, right? They, this is their first time to Seven Springs. But they're not new silvers. This is their fifth month of platinum qualification. Next month they'll be brand new platinums, qualified platinums. And this is the first Seven Springs. Good, I understand that. But when they joined the business, when Robert and Monica started the business, right, the week they signed up, Sonic and me went to the home, did a follow-up, signed them up. Next week, he had two prospects at the open meeting. And he continued to bring personal prospects. First couple of months in the business, he had three legs. He qualified for the $200 fast track. And he continued the process. Last week, they sponsored another new leg, a separate new leg, okay? Counseling with upline, talking to them, and you know what? Focus on the goal. He understands, they understand that platinum will happen next month. But what's next? You need a fourth leg, a fifth leg, a sixth leg to move on. Otherwise you'll get stuck. Always remember guys, have two goals in mind. One goal is not enough. Because you sooner or later you're going to reach that one first goal. But then you'll get stuck. Because if you don't have another goal, you'll have to re- group regain the momentum to shoot for the next goal and that's a waste of time that's why a lot of people get stuck at a goal or at a level because they don't have that goal i remember sonic and i going silver we went silver we went to go diamond florida all that stuff but come next fiscal year september onwards we went q12 but i remember from between silver and platinum the first two or three months in the business we put in five new legs why be because we already know we're going to be platinum, but we have to think about the next level. Otherwise, you'll get stuck, stuck at platinum. So have two goals in mind. The reason why I'm talking about them is to tell you next level. Think about where next you're going to go, your business is going to go. Okay? But we're excited about this couple, you know, working three plus legs. And always remember, any goal that you set, 
everything about that goal starts from you. Don't expect your group, okay, this group will go, this leg will go 4,000, this leg will 2,500, this leg 1,000, 7,500 done. What about you? You know, that'll never happen, guys. Long term, it won't work. Okay, you cannot make this business become like that. Because sooner or later, you, you, uh, people will realize what you're trying to do. It won't work. It starts from you. And this is the time for massive growth. But it starts from you as a leader. You know, people a lot of times ask me, you know, Vishal, you're bold, you're confident. How come you're bold and confident? What, what did you do or what do you change? You know, it's a simple thing, guys. If you're doing the work, like many other speakers talked about, you're not guilty of not doing the work. You're not guilty of not doing the right things. You will become bold and confident. It never bothered me if somebody joined the business and quit at any level. It doesn't bother me. Even if anybody, even if a big pin in my business quits the business for whatever reason, it won't bother me because I'm already in that process of accomplishment of, of achieving my goal. It'll happen. Sonic and I were talking about last night. You know what? Thursday night, the people who qualify, we need some new people to qualify for Thursday night at Seven Springs next year. We are talking about it, but you know what? Yeah, we know we want to do it, but it's not bothering us. Why? Because we're already in the process of doing the work. It's going to happen. You get into the process of working the business, guys, you will reach every level in this business and you'll grow. But that process has to be there. Somebody talked about being consistent with that process. You cannot do just one push and that's it. You have to be consistent in that process. Cut out distractions. Have your calendar booked. You won't have distractions. Why? Because you won't have time. You know, you cannot go for birthday parties. I mean, I'm, we are not saying don't care about family and all that stuff, but you've got to prioritize where you spend your time. Be focused. Make some life changes. That will help you towards accomplishment of your goals. You know, many times you've heard, put the business in the center of your life and everything else revolves around it. But do you understand what that means? Do you really understand what that really means? A lot of people hear that. But Sonic and I, we understood that anything about our life from the time we made the decision to move on and build this business and go diamond was about putting this business in the center of our life and that meant was that my time, the time we spend, whatever time we have, the money we spend and the energy we spend has to be revolving around our goals in this business. So anytime you have a question about whether you should spend money on this or not, or whether you should go somewhere, spend time on this, or energy, is it going to be towards accomplishment of your goal in this business to go diamond or not? It's a golden rule. I don't think we have to explain this again and again. Is this going to be good for you? Okay, we want to go for a vacation. We understand a little bit here and there is fine, like somebody was talking about watching a movie, you know, eating popcorn, whatever. Watching a movie here and there is fine. But you know what? Generally, as a golden rule, okay? We have a new, not a new home anymore, but there's so many things we can do with our home. But is it going to help us towards going double diamond? No, don't do it. Golden rule, how, how simple can it get? Okay, buying a Mercedes Benz today at silver or platinum, is it going to help me? First of all, don't think it's going to motivate your group. It does not. Because you haven't had a prospect in 3,000 years. You know, a Mercedes Benz is not going to help you. So, it's a golden rule. If it's going to help you, yes. If not, don't do it. The day you make the decision, you know, you will, you will be moving on, guys. At, at this level, are you still looking for outside income? Oh, let me get another job. Maybe I can get a pay raise here. You know what? Let me switch. And maybe I can... Guys, once we made the decision to build this business, it didn't matter. I, all I wanted to do and all my prayer was, God, help me keep this job. <laughs> I don't care if I get a dollar more. It didn't matter to me. Because long term I wanted to build this business. Long term that was my future anyway. Even if I get a $50,000 raise in my job, that's $50,000 one time. I would focus my energy more on the business, go emerald and diamond, 
rather than focus on this. So don't get distracted. I just kept my job. I tried to keep my job. You know, lost many of them. But because of people skills, it helped. So when you're confident about your goals, you know, you back it up with action. You don't worry about the present. Don't worry about, oh, you know, and I, I, let me tell you another thing. What's your tolerance level? What's your level of tolerance in the sense that somebody buys a house, how does it impact you? Can you tolerate it? Somebody, a friend, an ex-brand friend at work buys a new car. Oh, they bought a new car. Or somebody goes on vacation to Hawaii. Are you concerned? I wasn't. I was driving a Honda Civic all the way to Emerald. It didn't bother me. It didn't bother me. It never bothered me. I'm telling you the honest truth, guys. It never bothered me. Because I knew where I was headed. Today, these people who, will, who look good at that point of time, they still have loans on their car. We pay cash. It's going to happen. What is your tolerance level? Husband and wife both. Are you, if you're married, it's husband and wife. My parents, great, I love them. But they don't come before Sonika. No way. If there's a choice between my parents and Sonika, it's going to be Sonika, sorry. Because I have my own life now. My parents have lived their life, they've had their life. You understand what I'm saying? This is my life, this is my family. Your family comes first. Don't. What about investment deals, stock markets? Some people maybe thought I was foolish. It didn't matter. Who cared? I was confident about a success. So what are you going to change this weekend? From this weekend onwards? Will you call your upline? Will you humble yourself? You've heard about counseling. Or are you just going to still be that person stubborn? I'm not going to call them. Why? Why are you making it hard? Be in communication with them. Another last thing, I have a few things, but you know what, my time is up. Be real, be realistic. The only self-healing thing in this world is living creatures. That's the only self-healing thing. If I get a cut, if I don't take care of it, it will heal. Living creature. Trees, if leaves fall off trees, they come back. Right? But if it's a non-living creature, or non-living thing, it doesn't heal itself. If you've lost your job, it's not going to heal. Go find one. <laughs> if you have a bad relationship, yeah, time heals sometimes, but try to fix it. If there's a noise coming from under your car, <laughs> it's a problem. It's not going to heal. Fix it. Just find these things in your life that you keep fixing along the way. Your life will become better. You'll move on to diamond. That's what we did. We didn't ignore it. If there was a problem, first of all, identify a problem. And then get good at fixing that problem. You'll move on. Alright? So if you lost your job, go find it, guys. Go find one. Okay? Anyway, I'm done, guys. Thank you very much. This is... In this is incredible, guys. Make the changes necessary. Thank you.